Hello and a very good evening to you. How are you out there? Welcome to the show. This Here we are, we're on the uh, Sunday Spiritual Show. This is Cafe Clairvoyance. My name is Phil Griggs and this show goes out live three times a week uh, tonight, which is Sunday at seven o'clock, which is, uh, sorry, eight, yeah, seven o'clock, which is in Spain, six o'clock in the UK. Uh, this show here also goes out on Tuesday evenings and also goes out on Wednesday mornings. So we'd like to entertain you, keep you entertained, up to date with everything that's going on, ladies and gentlemen, or should I say tribe? Tribe's a far better word, I think, don't you think? I think so too. So we say tribe and we just welcome you to a, a wonderful, wonderful show, which is now live, now live here on YouTube, and it's also live on Facebook. It's on two pages on Facebook live. We're just spreading the love, spreading the vibe. Can you feel the vibe? <laughs> tribe? <laughs> feel the vibe, tribe? Yeah, so uh, here we are tonight. And we're going to talk to you about what the events during the week, what's been going on through your week. We would like to know where you're from, where you're from here. We'd love to know where you're from. Uh, we've got loads of you joining this evening so far. It's lovely to see so many of you. Lovely, lovely, lovely people. And I'm just going to stretch out my box, which is a box that lets me know who's who's here and who is it. So we'd just like to say hello to Mila. She says the sound is perfect. Just, isn't that nice? Now that I have a lovely sound. The spiritual wizard says hello, everyone. And uh, Eleni says hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. And even Helen Grady says, good evening, lovey. It's nice, isn't it? When you get called lovey in your life, you know life is going well. No problems. Everything is running along smoothly. When you know you have a good friend or ladies around you or even people out there just say, hello, lovey. You know things are going okay. Love tribe. Yes, we are the tribe. We don't fit into nor normal whiffs and waves of people here and groups and things like this. We are a tribe. Tribe, you feel that that energy about you. In fact, I was, I was at a lovely place just gone recently, which is um, uh, Cafe Tribus, which uh, Tribus in, in Spanish means tribes. And there's a vegan restaurant. And it's so, such a in place to be, especially if you want to feel like you're in a tribe. It's just magic, magic place. Anyway, good evening to you. It's lovely, lovely to see you. Loads to tell you, loads to get through this evening, loads of mini readings. Thank you for all your questions, all your comments. And uh, we would just like to say here, uh, Adela Terrell, hello, hello, hello. Very nice to see you and uh, everyone else. And even, even the producer on the show here, and I think we are. You're just so welcome to you guys. And uh, wherever you are, wherever you are in the world, please let us know. Please let us know here. So let's give you a little bit of a... I think you need one of them because you could just tell, just looking at you there, you need one of them. Now, during the show, Cafe Clairvoyance, there's two things you need, two very important things you need. One of them, coffee. Coffee or cafe of any kind, any kind here. Now, when you have these, when you have these here, this is good because what it means here is, is that you are relaxing. That's right, because what happens here is, is you'll notice, especially when you phone up various different places and different shows, that uh, you, you get like an answering machine, don't you? You know, when you phone up main places, you get press one for customer services, press two for, for services, and press three for large car. Well, here, here, what you'll notice here is, uh, here we say here, good evening, press one for chaos, press two for panic, and press three for cafe clairvoyance. That's right, Cafe Clairvoyance. Look at this, the Benidorm tribe. Look at that magic, eh? the Benidorm tribe. Come on, tribe, where are you from? Where's your tribe from? We don't know what part of the world you're from, your tribe. We've got the London tribe. We've got, uh, yeah, we've got the London tribe. We've got uh, loads of lovely people on this evening. And in fact, someone else there said where they were from. Um, uh, Love tribe, a place called Love. That's nice. Anyway, uh, so we've had, so just let us know where you're from here. I know you've got a London tribe. I think we've got some Dunstable tribe. I think we've got some Spain tribe. And may even lucky enough here to have, to have here. <laughs> what have you got threes down there for? What does the number three mean? I don't, I don't know what you're pressing there, but anyway, great. Anyway, so uh, lovely, lovely, lovely to see you. Anyway, so uh, first of all, I think a bit of intro music, and then we shall get on, shall we? Get on. Lovely to see you.
Well, good evening to you. Uh, now, what I'm going to say to you, these guys here, let me look at where you're from here. We've got Liz Hoare, who's in the Dunstable tribe. Dunstable tribe here. We've got uh, Alison Bell, who's in the Bedfordshire tribe. Oh, fantastic. You, you, you warriors, you, you warriors. Isn't that good? You just gee you up for something. Just getting ready for a Monday. How's that? Ah, we've even got uh, Jay Jones, who's in the Somerset tribe. She'd be from Somerset. Are they talking tribes like that down there? Like you've been having scrumpy out no one's business. You know what that's like, don't you? Anyway, so there we go. Anyway, and uh, don't forget, guys, this is what we also want you to do. That's right, you've got to share, you've got to put it out there, because guys, as you, as, as you probably know there, is that um, this show is completely free. We just share the love to you guys. All we ask you to do is just share it out there, give it out there to everybody that you may know, attract people you may know, and that would be absolutely wonderful. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Now, on the show tonight, we're going to talk in just a moment about astrology. We're also going to talk about news and information that's been going on recently. And uh, we've also got a meditation for you today from the spiritual wizard himself. Yes, from the spiritual wizard. He's in, he's in North Bedfordshire tribe, I believe. And, uh, and then we're also going to crack on with some mini readings and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful show and just enjoy being with you guys it's always wonderful lovely 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 to see so many of you here and uh right where else is going now yes uh we've got unleash your spiritual awesomeness and i think we'll have a bit of party noise because we are in that party tribe aren't we i'll be just at that party tribe and uh i'm just going to see what the because uh, loads of loads of information is coming through here and i just got to listen to what the uh listening to what the producer's up to what's she saying No, I'm still alive. Hello. Good. Now, um, so what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be enjoying our little selves here, having a wonderful evening. And the other thing here is just like I said to you, let's have a look at a little bit of astrology, what's going on here. Anyway, so let's have a look here. So uh, loads of you people coming. Ah, I want to say hi, Sharon from Stockport. Stockport, lovely to hear from you. And let's uh, work there. Yeah, lovely to see you guys. Let's put on a little bit of astrology. What's going on here? Because it's interesting at the moment. So at the moment here, we've got, we've got uh, Venus, which is over in Gemini. In fact, I'll put the chart up here for you. You can see what's going on. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. We've got just over here, there's Venus. Have you ever seen the symbol of Venus? And this is symbol of Gemini. It's over here, and what it's doing at the moment is it's going retrograde. It's going, see that R symbol there, means it's going retrograde. And uh, it's just starting to track backwards, or the apparent motion of going backwards. And what this is doing here just shows here that uh, this is, um, th 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 this energy is creating a little bit of confusion for some people because it squares over to Neptune, which is here in Pisces. Neptune is quite happy going through Pisces. In fact, it's just uh, it just says here that it's having a happy, happy time. Everything's working smoothly. But what it also wants to say here is, I think it's an important bit for you guys, is there's a bit of confusion in the air. Um, Venus and Neptune are very strongly related, but when they make a square together here, it tends to get a bit complicated. Sometimes things become a little bit more exaggerated, what they are emotionally perhaps here. The number of things, things here seem, for all that you think and know that you think is beautiful and what you want here, just seems to be out of phase. Out of phase, we call it like that, out of phase. So this out of phase is here, it won't last very long, it's just gonna go on a few more weeks at the very, very most. In fact, I'll even get the dates for you, if not due and by the end of the show, then uh, it'd be for Tuesday or Wednesday, let you know when it goes direct. But what it does here, if you imagine, if you imagine a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beach, beautiful beach. Now, often to get to a beautiful beach, the road to it is never smooth, is it? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. So sometimes what happens here is, is you get this information, you get your know, foot, you could go to your beautiful, tropical, wonderful beach, wherever it is here. Sometimes we have a pathway and that's a little bit, that's a little bit of this element here between, um, um, Neptune and Venus because it's clouding everything. We think everything is is going. Yes, we've got Sharon Jackson here saying that uh, 
My energy has been very heavy all week, but seems to have lifted now. Is, is this the reason why? Well, the reason why here is because the moon has just passed the sun, just had a new moon. Now, what the moon's going to do is it's lifted the energy. It's also made a fantastic, fantastic link here to the movies that way, a fantastic link here over to Saturn, which is over here, which is in Aquarius. Now, what that's going to do, it's going to steady things out. So we are going to say, OK, things aren't as bad as what they seem. It's going to get a little bit better, a little bit better here. And uh, so all this information there is just to help us where we go. So we, it's not going to be as difficult as it seems. So if you notice here, we've got a group of planets here, which is Capricorn Aquarius. We've got two planets here which are in Pisces. Mars is in Pisces too. That's a bit like, if you imagine like trying to blow bubbles in a bath. <laughs> bubbles are going everywhere. Mars in Pisces is not about a aggressive energy. Like it, it tries to get going through Pisces, but it just says here, oh, I just need to just chill out, just tranquil, just focus on relaxation, just focus my energies on finding peace and tranquility in all areas of my mind, my body, my heart. And uh, when it goes into Aries a little bit later, that's when it, oh, the energy is going to come back up. But during this phase here, Mars coming up to Neptune, this is just tranquility. Focus on tranquility. And sometimes people, when we try to make loads of plans that we're trying to do now, sometimes they just seem, they're just so out of phase. Out of phase here, thinking, well, we could do this and we could do that. And, uh, okay, should we do it? Well, we have to wait, don't we? Yes, because this is what Neptune is doing. Neptune is just saying, I'm just clouding everything because perhaps everybody just needs to chill out and just focus within. And sometimes when we do this, we create, we find an enormous harmony, which has helps us out big time, loads of times here. So let, let's work on this a little bit. Uh, they've got the noon modes, which are about to come back into Gemini's world. This whole Gemini section up here is about three things, three things. You, me, me and the people you relate with, so it's you, the people you relate with, and consciousness. Consciousness is how we're feeling with the energy out there, the relationship we have with ourselves to it, and the relationship other people are having to it. This is the tri-energy, the triangle energy, if you want to call it like this. Um, but this will start to, we will find here that uh, Venus going back to Gemini, the new moon energy is going to lift things a little bit, and uh, we'll find this Saturn energy down here is going to be very steady. So hopefully, guys, that helps you out a great deal. And uh, yes, so uh, press those hearts, share the love, and uh, be great, great just to uh, send it out there. Right. Okay, where is it going now? That's it. Uh, Yvette Tyler says, my arthritis has fled, being unusually anxious this week. Uh, why is this happening? Neptune, Neptune rules water, Neptune rules water, we've got Mars here, which is in water as well, it's making an artistic, sorry, a, um, a, a angle which is a little bit um, argumentative with itself, conflicting, that's a little bit to do with Neptune and Mars, and uh, while well, the energy is there, but it will all pass, it will all pass, and hopefully this new moon is going to help things out a little bit, we've all been uh, waiting for this, this new moon a little bit. Anyway, good. Okay, so double that, double that. Let's get out of the way. Let's get out of the way. Thank you. Thank you very much, astrology section. And uh, okay, so we're gonna. Well, I think now is about time we go and uh, have a little word with the spiritual wisdom, don't you? So you need now, ladies and gentlemen, to grab tribe, tribe to grab yourself a coffee, to have a coffee here and get ready. Just as you're getting ready, I'll tell you something. Maybe you know this. Maybe you don't. But I'm going to tell you something that is going to be going and make you go, oh, that is so interesting. Now, when we go to the doctor, sometimes because we're feeling a bit anxious and the doctor says, ah, have some Prozac or something like that to relax you. Yeah. Hmm? So Prozac. Well, do you know where part the two chemicals of Prozac come from? Come from. Some of you who like gardening would know this. Yes, it comes from the soil. The natural ingredients of the soil, and I actually reveal the sources as we go through this week talking about this, uh, actually have the same ingredients from Prozac. So what happens here is when you put your hands into the soil, don't wear gloves, put your hands into the soil, you are soaking up the relaxation of the chemical, uh, of the chemical name Prozac, but in the nutrients in the soil, which are totally natural, help you to relax. There you go. So sometimes going to gardening centers, getting yourself in your garden as the weather gets better, just putting your hands into the soil, just filling out all those weeds, that's uh, right, all them weeds, and getting all the crops in the right line, and they'll be looking rather good there, then won't they? 
you're you're then if you've got a tractor you'll know exactly where i'm coming from there as well and you'd like one anyway so that's putting your putting putting yourself into the earth like this with your hands fantastic taurians love this taurians love gardening or where venus is strong in your chart so it could also indicate where uh, where gardening appreciates i mean i like looking at gardens but uh, the producer is the one who's uh, who's into this okay so uh, yes is earthing and uh, very earthy and uh, deb says uh, it's uh, god is very therapeutic so ladies gentlemen stick your hands in the soil that's where you can find a lot of peace here so um and in the meantime just talking about this hopefully we've got you guys nice and relaxed because because i think it's time now we went to the north of bedfordshire we went to a very tranquil place where the countryside is rich with greenery there is so much going on there that we decided to find a little fireplace. A little fireplace to introduce, introduce here, a nice little story just for you. meditation session. I hope, if you wish to participate, you have found yourself somewhere to sit or lie down comfortably and where you won't be disturbed. If you wish, you may close your eyes or you may wish to focus on something like a crystal or maybe a candle flame. I would like to start by asking you to lay your hands in your lap with your palms facing upwards or if you are lying down lay your arms by your side again with your palms facing upward. Affirm in your mind I am safe and perfectly protected my auras are strong and powerful shields, allowing only loving, friendly, positive energies to enter my energy field. Become aware now of your breathing. Breathing gently as you begin to relax. In a moment, I will ask you to take three deep breaths. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Holding for a second before moving on as I call the breath. We're ready. Breathe in. Hold and breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. And relax. Continue to breathe in a relaxed and calm way. As you gently breathe in and out, become aware of any tightness in your muscles. And on the out breath, affirm in your mind, let go and consciously allow them to relax. We are surrounded by energy or life force. I refer to it as chi. So with every in-breath you are breathing in not just air, but energy, chi. You can visualize this any way you wish. But as you breathe in, 
allow the energy to flow to every part of your body, pushing out any pain, any discomfort, any stiffness in your joints, and maybe any emotional issues you are holding in your mind. Set your intention to allow the energy to flow down the energy pathways or meridians in your body, seeking out any disruptions in the natural flow of energy, and use the power of your limitless imagination, your tool of manifestation, to see the disruptions in your energy field begin to dissolve and dissipate, allowing the natural flow of energy through your body to resume and re-establish a healthy flow of chi, resulting in a return to health and a natural balance within your energy field. Give yourself some time now to continue to breathe in the energy, allowing it to fill your body. I would like you now to begin to bring your focus back into your physical body. Begin to wiggle your toes and your fingers as you bring your consciousness back to the physical. Take a deep breath and fill your lungs. Stretch out your arms with the sound of the ting sha. Bring yourself back into the room and back into the physical world. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that and found it helpful. If you, sh if you should continue to feel a little lightheaded and disconnected, you may like to try a Qigong movement, whether sitting or standing, and with your feet flat on the floor, raise your heels up, pushing from your toes, and bring your heels sharply down with a gentle thump as if you are trying to wake the planet up from its slumber. Do this several times. I've been Robert, and I thank you for listening. I wish you love, light and peace. Bye for now. Wasn't that nice? Wasn't that lovely? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Robert, thank you very, very much for meditation there. It was uh, absolutely lovely. Uh, for those of you who just joined the show, welcome. This is, uh, where are we now? We're on the 24th. This is uh, May 24th. We are approximately 1922 in Spain. Uh, I gather you're about 622 in the UK, wherever else you are in the world. And I get a few of you here from the UK, a few of you here from Spain. Uh, I think there's someone here from Portugal. And I think there's also someone, a couple of other people here from Canada. Canada, love to see you guys here. Anyway, so, uh, yes, back again, lol. Yes, Joe's back. Hello, uh, Deb Robridge. Uh, okay, can anyone say, else see the, the, the picture in the flames? Well, if you meditated like that, you can see that. It's absolutely fantastic. But, uh, yes, in flames, we can see the most beautiful things. And uh, 
uh, Robert, thanks. Uh, thank you very, very much, Robert. We're all saying thank you too. So I think we need another meditation. Yes, just another one. Just another one. Okay, little shout out here. Let's do a little shout out here because we said uh, some of the things we like to do is to um, uh, give a shout out to groups or charities that uh, help people wherever they are in the world, whether it's in this country, in the UK or anywhere else. And uh, this is a very nice one. This is a very, very nice lady uh, that uh, I've met and also my wife met. And uh, this is a shout out to Helen Davies. Helen Davies and Spread Some Sunshine charity. And this is to spread some sunshine uh, from a group which is on Facebook. So just read that again, spread some sunshine. And uh, I'm sure, I'm sure somewhere out there you'll find that the producer's got to put this online here. We really never know, don't know. But uh, yes, uh, um, so spread some sunshine group on Facebook. And that is to help in villages in need in uh, Sri Lanka. And uh, if you've ever been to Sri Lanka, well, the people I know have been to Sri Lanka say it's absolutely beautiful place in, in some areas. And other areas are very de deprived. And uh, but uh, no, that's just one of the charities here helping. So um, it's always good, good to give a shout to people here. And uh, we thought, um, how about, yes, there you go, spread some sunshine. Spread some sunshine. Thank you very much, producer. She's done that here. Here's a little hoot to producer. And I think for any of you who have been misbehaving in any way today, take that as a, as a, as a, <laughs> and uh, if you've been walking in the countryside, perhaps you heard this. Yeah, well, you never know, you never know. And for those of you who are having a lazy day today, you're wondering what time of day it is? <coughs> well, there's some of you out in Australia and New Zealand there, you may well be waking up and may well be uh, waking up to that there. And for those of us here, you'll probably wonder what on earth time of day it is. And anyway, just find out what else the, the producer's up to. Yeah, that's all the messages coming through for your readings later on. I can hear all this lot coming through. Amazing. In fact, I can actually hear it going backwards and forwards. Wow, incredible. Fast woman, fast woman. So fit, so fit. Ah, a little bit of lightheartedness for you. If I can find it. It's just shot off. Uh, where, where is it gone now? Come on, in you go. No, I don't want to play. Okay, never mind. Uh, there's, there's a little thing I was going to play for you, but it's not doing it today, so therefore I have to do it next week. In the meantime, though, no, I think uh, we'd just like to give you a little bit of this. I think we come to that point of the show. We're coming out about 25, about 25 minutes past there. And uh, I think we come out at that time of day, we need to talk about some readings. So the energy at the moment, very bizarre, very different, not quite used to this. So here we are coming out of lockdown, especially here in Spain, we come out of lockdown. And uh, how is feeling? Well, it's interesting actually, you think the bar, uh, that everybody run to the bars, the restaurants are going, pile out there to have loads of uh, eats and drinks, things like that. And yes, you're probably quite right. It's, uh, it's, it's very slow moving, but uh, we'll get there eventually. But to those of you who want to come out to Spain for the summer, I think they're trying to, I know the Portugal authorities are trying to get the doors open for July. And uh, we all just come out to Spain. They probably won't be far behind. So it'd be lovely to see you when you get down here. Yes, you must come and say hello. Pay us a little visit down here. Okay, so let's have a little look here. Let's see if we look here on what's going on out there, out there with you people, how we can help you. Right. Okay, so during this part of the show, here's where I do many readings. And uh, uh, we ask, we ask here prior to the show, if you could write in with your date of birth, your, your uh, favorite color and a question. Just one color, one question. That's all we ask. And uh, then we, we uh, do, do many readings for you and hopefully you enjoy them. And so far, so good. Everything's going out well. Now, um, I do know here that when we're doing the mediumship show, the mediumship show, and she's yeah, that one, uh, on Tuesday with my good friend Helen Grady, who's down here laughing her head off at everything, probably all the boo boos I'm making on the show. And uh, when I was actually working with Helen there, that was interesting actually because she was, um, we were both passing out messages, but uh, some people couldn't take them. So I went out to uh, see some friends uh, at uh, Trebus restaurant in Benita Chow. And lo and behold, lo and behold, what goes and happens? Yes, they say, oh, by the way, I can take that message. No, they wouldn't answer. 
<laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? You always say to people here, why can't you say it at the time? Well, it's because, it's because, whatever it is. Anyway, we just, uh, we, we do our best, don't we? Anyway, uh, if you're out there, please show us your name there. I'm just going through the registered names here. We just want to say hello, hello, hello to Alison. Alison, Alison, if you're there, give us a little shout so we can put your name up here. If, that, if that's good, Alison, if you're there. That would be great, but I can't see you at the moment. So hopefully you'll be coming on at... Uh, ah, there you are. There you are, there you are, there you are. Alison, good evening to you. Good evening to you, Alison. Now, um, your question here is, uh, will I ever find love? What should I look for? Um, okay, well, we shall ever find love. Okay, uh, Alison, you sound like a lovely lady here. 22nd and 6th, 1968, you're the 347. Well, the 7 energy here is a very spiritual energy. So... Uh, um, basically, we do need someone who's a little bit on the spiritual side and someone perhaps who likes not necessarily just the quiet life, but just likes a little bit of peace and stability, perhaps. Need a bit of this. And you're a seven energy. So it's interesting here. One of the cards which have come up here for your, um, per, uh, for your uh, life path here is the chariot. The chariot, chariot, chariot. There he goes, the little old chariot. And the chariot here is very much a card which is about travel, it's about changing things. Now, would you understand here that in order to find love, whatever we've been doing that hasn't worked, we now have to change to find something that does work. So it is about change. Chariot is about change. Now, for us to work you a little more here, uh, you're, you're, you're basically in, in numerology, what we call a three, four, seven and tuning into your energy, would you understand here some of the reasons which you may have found it difficult to find love in the past, perhaps, was because of some relationships that were very close to you. I'm not gonna go into big details here because we're on a live show like this, a fun show. But would you understand here, there were some relationships around you when you were and maybe the, the younger side here, which were a little bit struggle, struggle. So would you understand here, there's a need of uh, finding ourself, finding our confidence, finding our ability out there to connect with ourselves. That's a very strong energy I pick up with this. And uh, um, I also pick up with this here, that uh, this is for your four, your four parts here. The three parts here is the need to communicate communicate with people. The more you're chatty, chatty, chatty with people, the better. And the interesting thing here is, is your seven energy, your seven energy is very alluring. If you allow people to be attracted to the allure, do you know, as I say in France, you have to have the allure. And Alison, you have the allure. So this is just let things come to you. Sometimes when you go out there, it's not who, who can I find? Maybe they'll find me or you. Yes, maybe you. Now, uh, you're on a personal year five. Wow, fantastic. Where well, should I find love? It could be with a personal year five. You'll find, will I find loves? Z on the end, loves. Because <laughs> the personal year five is quite lively. It's, it's a very lively card to have. And suddenly you'll find that sometimes you'll just want your freedom. Other times you just want fun. Loads of fun out there. And why not? Why not? I think that's a terrific energy to have here. But I just pick up here, it's a link to do with other energies around you uh, being a site on the younger side here. And so if you want to chirp in at any point here, by all means do to then what's going on and uh, how that uh, can actually help you. Because as I'm actually picking up on this too, I would also like to say here that um, uh, I, I believe here, would you understand it sometimes that you're quite in, that you're quite introverted, introverted in, in a sense here, uh, where I pick up here, well, actually, there's a kind of, uh, change here. Now, what should I look for? What should I look for? I think the first thing to look for here is, is change the way your approach is. First of all here, go out there exuding a feeling of confidence. Exude a feeling of confidence. If you go out there exuding confidence, then that's a good thing. The other part I say here is it's just, I'm not fussed. If they like me, I send off an allure and they come to me. To me, isn't that nice? That's a nice romantic way of putting it, isn't it? And, uh, all right, what else to see here? Uh, I also pick up here, Alison, would you understand here, Yes, can be at times. Uh, she says, yes, can be at times, can be at times here. And uh, also pick up here, would you understand if there was a personal physical thing about you that you were looking at? And uh, um, a personal physical thing, which we can all look at in different ways here, like my arms are too long, my legs are too long, uh, my ears are too big, ears are too big, whatever it is, sometimes they're the most beautiful characteristics of ourselves here. Uh, Sharon Jackson says, sorry, I have to go now, we'll catch up next time. Okay, Sharon, take care, see you soon. 
In the meantime, Alison, let's keep on with you. Right, so I've just finished off the cards. Let's have a little look here. I've got three piles of cards here. I'm going to go for the middle for you. So your question here, what should I look for? What should you look for? Well, one of the things I say here is, would you understand about a job change that you went through, which is quite a public sort of job is, very busy, busy people sort of job. And, uh, oh, for goodness sake, your chariot card comes up again, double, double, double. Yes, the change of the job here, but your big card surrounding it all here is through, through, yes, she says yes, she says yes. She says that she changed the job because I was picking up here, changed the job because the previous job you're in would look like a nightmare, nightmare. And if any people here are listening from that job, well, you were a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, what I'd like to say here is looking at these this lovely energy that you've got, Alison, I would say here, so the biggest thing to go and do is just be out there making friends with everybody. And, uh, and I think you would just enjoy it if you were to come out that way. Just enjoy yourself. Just enjoy yourself with people. Don't look for love. It's about love coming to you. That's the magic of your five. Sometimes here it's that uh, yes, you don't have to go out there. Just just remember, people, that love comes in many ways, different forms, different forms, different ways. One of them is through love that way. Isn't it nice if it's love that way? The other one is that way. It's a burger. Mm, that love, love, love or burger. Mm. Yes, okay, yes. My job is busy, busy. Yes, I bet it is busy, busy. I'll pick up that. But I think here yeah, the job change or something you went through there was a little bit of a nightmare, but uh, I'm glad we rid of that. So the basic here, I think here is, is network, communicate, talk to people, but change the way our approach is. That's gonna be the biggest thing. If you need any more help on this, give us a little personal message then. If, uh, yes, um, we'll do a little bit. All right, okay, Alison, in the meantime, lovely, lovely seeing you. Lovely to see you. She has, oh, Puihali says she has a big heart as well. Now, Puihali is a twin to Bi Ha, to Pui Ha. Pui Ha and Pui Ha Li. Yes, see, Chinese, we get Chinese here as well. Chinese here as well. Lei Ho Ma. Love, burger. They all understand that now, don't we? Okay. And uh, yes, she says both. Alison says both. So fabulous. Anyway, so Alison, wish you the very best. And uh, yes, we'll have to have a chat with you sometime. Right. Okay. Let's let's move on a little bit here. Let's uh, hold on. Now, Pui, Pui Ha Li and Pui Ha are two wonderful psychics, two wonderful psychics out there who um, often join in on the show and they sense what's going on. Now, we're going to have a little chat with them because I think we need them to jump on the show at some particular point and uh, just give a little impression of something, especially on a Sunday show like this. Just pop in for 10 minutes. Just open the door, just drop in with, a, with of course, a coffee, coffee or cafe of some kind at a cafe of clairvoyance, be rude not to. And, uh, yes, yeah, spread some sunshine, spread some love. <laughs> Le Homa, that's it. We are says, Le Homa. There we go. Good. Okay, let's go to Bedfordshire. Let's go to the tribe of Bedfordshire. Let's go and have a look for... Let's go straight up the top here because I think it's where I saw her. And I'm actually looking for Taryn. Taryn, Taryn, Taryn. Taryn the Terrible. Taryn, Taryn the Taryn. Taryn, wherever she is down. Now, Taryn, you're down here somewhere. I just saw your name. I'm just looking for it. Anyway, Taryn, just give us a thumbs up because I'm looking for your name through the feed. I'm just trying to find it. Ah, oh, there you are, there you are, there. Hello, Taryn. Hello, Taryn. Good evening. Good evening to Pepper's here. Um, we are, oh, well, we're a spring chicken here. This is uh, 17th of 3rd, 1979. And this is a 369. Now, um, it's a song like that, isn't it? 369, I'm in line. Do, 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 do. Mm. No, anyway, never mind. Right, okay. Okay, so, um, and you're, uh, your, so your nine is about, well, this is interesting here because normally nines are here for a purpose to help people get up to different levels in their life. Often nines are very good at this in a generic form here. They often have to go through a lot of sacrifices. They often have to go through a lot of, why do I have to learn this again and again and again? Well, because there's a purpose to this somewhere. Somewhere there's a purpose. Uh, so this is what comes out here. Now, uh, her colour is aquamarine. I love that colour here. Very, a lot of crystal people love aquamarine because it's often very spiritual psychic colour. So that's a nice energy in itself, in a sense too. And uh, also here she asks, she wants to ask here, she says here that, uh, question, she just says general reading. Are we in the army now? General reading. Why not a major reading or a captain reading? 
We've gone for a general reading. So obviously like the military all of a sudden. There we go. Anyway, so uh, she would like a general reading and uh, she just says, Ola, Ola. Um, and her card here, first of all, first of all, the first card we've got here is the Hierophant. Now the Hierophant is all about very much going within the self and the light is through the lantern, through the darkness. And Martin Luther King, great, great character where he was in his life for some of his... Um, his uh, statements that he made were blinding. And one of them, I think, is magic. He says, in the dark, you see the stars. In the dark, you see the stars. And uh, for you, Taryn, I say here is seeing the stars, seeing the reality and reacting to reality, reacting to reality around you. Because I think that's going to be some of the biggest objectives you'll actually see what's going to be going on in your life over the next sort of few months or so. I think that would be important. Uh, the other part here I actually look at here too is uh, to say your personal year is the Hereford. Now, um, are you thinking of moving, young lady? Are you thinking of moving? Moving here, are you thinking of going somewhere? Because your Hereford card says you're probably going to be on the move. Uh, I also pick up here, business-wise, be a very good year business-wise, especially as I pick up this psychically here in October. I also want to pick up more psychic information out there because it's all just started to come through for you. And that is, I'd like to say to you, if you'd understand this, would you... Would you also understand here that um, people who have been, um, they sort of disappeared on your life from um, uh, from the past, disappeared in your life from the past, are now starting to come back, to come back into your life. So don't be surprised you start hearing from people. And you're going, this is strange. Strange, why are these people coming back? Why are people coming back into my life? Well, they're probably, you're resonating a DNA or an energy out there which is attracting these people. And also here, pick up psychic and spiritually, you're getting lots of premonitions about things before they even happen. Okay, so what even happened here? So um, just be prepared, home moves, home moves, business changes, business change, which you're going to get for the better here. And also, I'd also say here too with this, coming up this year, you're going to be put into a situation which is going to be very challenging about work. Very challenging. I really pick up this, and it's not a threat to you at all, because it's react to this positively and you will grow. React to this positively and maturely and you will grow. Grow. Hide away or step back here, then you have to be careful. Yes. And, uh, but I just pick up here, this way you're gonna go. Now, let's have a look here. General reading, Taryn, and see what else comes up here for you. Up there in Bedfordshire, I love the Bedfordshire tribe, Bedfordshire tribe, and uh, let's, let's see what comes up here. All right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 and I think we should stop right about there. And I'm gonna cut the pack into three piles. And Taryn, I'd just like to say here, look at the three piles there, I'm gonna go for the left. Very much pick up the left of you. And uh, right, okay, so let's have a look here. So one, um, two, three, and what's the outside one here saying? So. Ah, now it's interesting here because um, yes, there is going to be an objective to do with work. You're gonna to have to look at, and that's gonna have, um, your think is like, I don't really wanna do it like this. I don't wanna really react like this in some way. But if you take the positive of this, it really goes well for you. The other cards here picking up here is, I pick up here too. <laughs> if you react and take the high road, take the high road, the star. What can you say? It's interesting, actually, the light changes, draw that, because the light, light in the, in the camera here changes to your star and uh, changes the lighting in the room here. So yes, that would be very, very much a special thing here. Now, it's, it's about what's coming to you, but it's going to change you. It's going to change the way you're working. And you're not going, but I don't want to do this. But I'm saying, do it. It's going to be something that uh, you'll know very much about it when it happens. But it, it has. if you don't do it, it's like, hmm, maybe uh, some ambitions or dreams are nice and cozy, but where are they taking you? It's where this is going to be taking you. It's coming up soon. Up soon. So there's a bit of information now, isn't there? A bit of information. Yes, a bit of gossip there. So hopefully that helps at you. Right, with your general reading or your captain reading or major reading, whoever it is. Ah, uh, let's let's be going to Somerset. Let's be going off to the little town of Somerset and let's be going off to a nice lady called Jay. Jay. And uh, she's born another spring chicken. Another spring chicken. Fourth of seventh, nineteen seventy-two. She's a two-one-three. 
to other in fact i'm just going to go through jay here just have a look and in fact if jay over there just say hello hello so he's be uh think you're out ah, yeah jay if you pop up your name there anyway just say hello just so we know you're there and um your your life path is 213 and you've got the empress card here and you're a personal year six okay and your color your color here i think was a bluish color anyway i think it was like an aquamarine color um okay so we have a look at that now um question should i come to the costa del sol now as i have a job offer or stay in the uk and wait until july the 4th so book flights and come over or wait come over or wait um i would say now this is interesting here because if you've got the empress card here which is your personal um your your life path card here now you're in a personal year six and that's interesting because personal year six is about the lovers and this is also about where you're going to be going in your life and how you're going to be focusing on absolute wonderment and and loveliness yes um now um because it's about the people you're going to meet now the thing here is that i pick up as soon as you come out to spain spain's a big place and as much as you could say you're going to the Costa del Sol, you're going there for a limited time. But the thing here is, it's your stepping stone. It's your stepping stone here. So um, if you were to jump in, if you were to jump in on this and go now, then it's good. It's your stepping stone. I get the feeling here that you really don't want to hang around for too long. And in fact, the longer you hang around here, if you get the opportunity to window to, to jump, do it. I would suggest do it because... Uh, um, Opportunity is going to open up for you. But the interesting thing is that I pick up for you, Jay. I think it's going to be very nice. In fact, I've got a very nice gentleman here who just stepped in. Jeff sent him to the spirit world. And he's very, very much on your father's side, rather than your mother's side. Very nice man here. He says here, no, go. And actually, I'm picking up here. This man used to be, um, he had something to do, um, something to do with, with aircraft at some point, whether it was during the war or something like this. I'm not sure. But a very nice man. Wanted to come over. He's shown me planes, but these are old planes. Oh, but showed me, but he has a connection to do with them. And also he's shown to me here is, is would you understand here? Oh my goodness, he's telling me this. And please do listen to this because uh, I'm not forcing it to you, but I'm just saying he's telling me here. Would you understand here to stop making excuses to other people? Or when well, perhaps this will happen and perhaps do this, perhaps do that. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. I mean, I think uh, Shirley Bassey sang it online, didn't he? Didn't she? Perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps, or was it someone else? Anyway, it was around that era, wasn't it? If you've got perhaps is, perhaps is keeps keep us going forever. If you start to make reaction to something now, I think your funny impact will be good. The thing here is that Venus retrograde does not mean here this is a bad thing. What it means is you're revisiting things. You're revisiting and seeing what opportunities there are. Because once you start making decisions, it's good. Because later on, you'll come up to July and then we start having Mercury retrogrades. And then you'll be going... That's even more confusing. So I would say, go for it now. That's what I pick up here. Now, um, just having a look at your cards here. This gentleman here is very, very well here. He wants to show me his heart. He passed over because of his heart. And I think he may have even had treatment on his heart before he passed, like an operation of some kind. But uh, he's, he's very much there. Um, yes, this is yes. Just to show the cards here. Now, just to say, say to you guys what's going on here. What's going on here is... Um, we're also now live on two Facebook channels, Facebook channel, in fact, I think we're on three Facebook channels now, and we're also live on YouTube, YouTube, so um, we'll give you more of those links there as we're getting used to this, because this is all new technology that we're getting used to, but what we'll do is, so you can look at it another time perhaps here, we'll put the broadcast details below here so you can see what's going on, and we'll flash it up on the, the um, so you can see the YouTube information there as well, and uh, yes, so it's all good. All good here yes how's that how's that and uh yes okay so jay let's have a look here should you should you go for it now should you go for it now that's the question if you went for it now what would be the implications let's have a look at the cards to say okay finish off in them i'm cut me into three piles i'm going to go for the right because the right because it's the right thing to do look let's have a look okay so uh your cards here are saying that uh <laughs> yes it is a whole new life you're coming into it's a very different world you'll be looking at money you'll be looking at all the things that you would you could easily focus on to distract you from doing this and yet i would say to you if you came to spain my dear if you came to spain the world 
What more does one have to say? What more does one have to say than take the bull by the horns and uh, do your thing? It'd be a good thing here. And adventure. All about adventure for you. I've been there because eight of wands. It's all about adventure. And I, I just get a feeling here is, is that as soon as you come here, the interesting thing is, and this is what I like to open your mind to, Costel Soul is a stepping stone. It's a stepping stone here. That's what it is. That's what it leads itself to. So, Jay, what I've got to say to you here is it's a stepping stone to where you're going to next in Spain. But you're going to do exceptionally well if you take the initiative. And it's interesting here because it's something you work on in your life sometimes, I think, here, is this uh, doubt bit. No, sometimes it look after number uno. That's one in English. Anyway, right. Okay, so hopefully that helps there. Hopefully that helps. It's lovely, lovely seeing you guys. Uh, where else are we going off here? So, uh, yeah, don't forget, guys, we're also on YouTube. And uh, later on, hopefully, we're going to be on LinkedIn. And uh, after that, we go on to different places. But uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's good fun. Good fun. Now, just to let you know, on uh, Wednesday, on uh, t uh, Tuesday night, Tuesday night, I'm with the wonderful Taryn. Taryn Sandbrook, and we're having a wonderful, wonderful show. It's uh, it's called it's called the Moon and the Heart. Moon and Heart. Now this starts. Oops, did I get that out of the way? Excuse me. Um, this starts. This starts at. So I've got every other screen jumping up in front of me at the moment. <laughs> Jay Jones says, "Thank you. I'm going to pack." Good on you. Good on you. I think you should. I think you should start sorting yourself out and take the action. Take the action here. Now, um, just to let you know, on Tuesday night, which is going to be 9 o'clock in Spain, 8 o'clock in the UK, will be the moon and the heart. I'm working that with Taryn. Taryn's a wonderful, wonderful uh, coach. She does emotional freedom. She's got a company called Truly Intuitive. And we put together this program, this lovely, lovely program, friendly program called the moon and the heart. Moon and the heart. And uh, it's looking at love. It's looking at your moon, where your moon is in your chart. And if you get the opportunity to actually look at your chart there, we can actually say, ah, oh, your moon's in this particular placement. And how sometimes what your needs are. Uh, for example, here, sometimes uh, when you are, uh, when you sense trouble or danger, um, often what we do for safety is where we run to our moon placement where we find comfort or safety, depending on where it is, depending on where it is. So it's interesting what our moons do. And the heart part here is what Venus is up to, what Neptune's up to, and how this year is such a different year from any other year we've been through. Um, in fact, in fact, if you look at this year at the moment, I mean, when was the last time all this, this sort of stuff happened? It never happened in our lives, no matter how old you are. I mean, if you go back to the war, at least during the war, you were allowed out. During this particular point of the virus here, um, no, one, no one was allowed out. So it, it's been very challenging. But this sort of change we're going through now, and you're thinking, this is crazy, surely not. But you've got to go back to the Roman times, because what's happening now is, is we're changing from this, um, capitalistic society, as you see through the governments here, governments here, people aren't paying much attention now to governments because of the way things are changing. And uh, we're now coming out to this more energy thing, this new, we're tapping into a new energy, we're tapping into a new beginning. This is a whole new generation we're coming into now, which is going to start really evolving over the next five years, minimum, minimum. So this is where we're going to, the big, big stuff we're coming into here. So uh, a lot of this stuff we're, we're working on here to bring us through. And then on, 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 I'm just looking for, there we go. Uh, on Wednesday morning, Wednesday morning at, uh, at 11 o'clock here in Spain, 10 o'clock in the UK, we have this, always very lively. <laughs> So Wednesday morning is that show. We do spiritual astrology. Um, it's a, a cram-packed show of what's going on through the astrology. Although I do astrology, Guillermo does it very differently to me. And it's all, also very fascinating. Brilliant. And uh, and I'm working with uh, the spiritual side of, of life and working with what's going on in the week and what's going on ahead and also your, your readings and uh, working through astrology and other energies there. In the meantime, though, let's let's uh, we just uh, popped into Jay. Let's go and have uh, let's go and have uh, let's go and have a little chat with Susanna, who I believe is up. She's she's in the the Bedfordshire tribe as well, I believe. Here, 
Yes, Susanna. Susanna, Susanna. There you are, Susanna. Uh, 20th of 1960, she's a 10-1, and uh, she's a life path 10. Interesting here, because the one part of this here is immediately is like, whatever you do, do what you want. Whatever you do, it's about mastery of yourself. Uh, rather, it's your mastery of yourself to the universe around you. It's not about everybody else to you. Your zero part here is interesting because uh, it, it's filling your life with something that you've always wanted to do for yourself, perhaps. Da, da, da. wonder what it is you'd love to do. But anyway, something's there, isn't it? I'm sure we'd do something great. And uh, you're on a personal year three. So it's about learning. Really is tapping into your environment around you. And uh, da, da, da. right, okay. Right, her question here is, is wants to open a wellness center. Can you see a move involved to achieve a long-term dream? There's a funny thing here with this. Very interesting thing here is because you're in a personal year three, you could easily just uproot and travel. You could. But something in this three is saying, hmm, just hold on. And with all the retrogrades on at the moment, I would also suggest it just hold on. And it's not because things are going to go wrong. It's far from it. Because things would have an opportunity. I think life for, for some of us here is going to offer us some of the offer us so some opportunities which enable us to you know really get involved and engage in our lives now that's what i pick up for you pick up for you here is sometimes just hold on a little while because although you want to open a wellness center where does it have to be does it have to be right up there in north of england or can it be down here hmm. because in this energy that we're going through at the moment i really think here that uh um, holding on just a moment and letting life come to you, I pick up here, Suzanne, could be a good idea. Wouldn't brush off too much, especially if you like the energy down here, especially if you like that. Now, if that was a big thing, if that meant a lot to you here, then that, I think that would be a good thing. Just uh, throwing my cards everywhere, the cards everywhere here. Now, uh, let's go. So let's have a little look here. Should you, let's look at this wellness center here. Now, the only thing here is as well is, Personal year one, personal year one. This wellness center here, who's doing this with you? That's one of the first things I'd say here, is doing this with you. It's not because I'm alienated against anybody else. It's because this is your dream, this is your idea. Is there a need for this to stay very close to you? Should your wellness center be you? Are you the wellness center rather than actual center itself? Mm. Yes, I get a feeling here just to just to keep keep seeing the dream and looking at it from different points of view, but keeping it alive. Yes, it's almost like when we water the roses. We don't just do it from one side, do we? We sometimes have to go around the other side. Let's do it. Do we? I don't know. I'm not a gardener, but anyway, I'm just uh, suggesting. Anyway. anyway, right. Let's let's have a little look here. Let's have a little look. Yes. And just finish up with the cards and let's have a little look here. So let's have a look and let's put those down there and let's go, let's go for the left. Let's go for the left because we've left the past behind. Right, let's have a little looky. And we've got here, which we now it's so interesting here because your cards come up with so much confidence, but they don't show a move. They show us here, this is, this is always, always a big thing here. Big thing here. And uh, uh, Susanna's just here. She just said, hi, Phil. Now, the big thing here with this is your cards are excellent. They're brilliant for where you are. So would you understand here that your justice card here, which is always a lovely card, it's, it's a very powerful card, but doing what's right for you, for you. Now, what other people are saying to us we've got to do is how this feels in your gut feeling here. We also got a nine of cups. You'll you'll be the most happiest soul going if you listen to you. Your ace of rods here. Function on yourself here. Your year ahead with this could look absolutely brilliant. And um, even your financial side here, I think you would actually grow very nice and steadily. But first of all, here, what you I think what we've got to do is got the idea in our heads, put it down on paper, build it up here. What it's going to look like, what you're going to do, how it's going to work but keep it in something which is functional and which is real, very real, and you'll do well. Then let the universe guide you a little bit, whether or not you where you think you should go. 
I don't see him moving away too quickly, going to a dream which is a possible rather than a certain. Does that help? I hope it does. But uh, yes. Okay. How are we doing it? Right. We're just coming up to, just coming up to the hour here. Now, uh, if we get a chance to look at some of the other cards, he will do. But uh, um, what I was going to say, though, is, guys, I think here it's been... Um, a very, very unusual week for, for a lot of us, but we are lifting now because we've got this lovely new moon coming up in the air. That's what's going to change us here. I'm just going to quickly look at, do one more reading, and uh, with that, I'm going to go straight to Helen. Uh, Helen asks here, she's, she's gone for the colour purple. Purple is very, um, very strong colour here. Now, it's interesting here because this isn't a colour I would say will naturally connect with, with you, Helen. I wouldn't connect this. It's interesting here, because often it's quite intense colors. Sometimes there's a need. There's a need here sometimes here to stay uplifted, to stay up, stay up in energy. Purple is quite intense, an intense color here. When we think about uh, uh, the energy meridians here, we're talking real gut stuff here about real power, where we're going here as well, as much as the crown, crown on top of the head here. And uh, right, so uh, will, I will I remain in Spain? 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 Uh, I think here, the purple here is an interesting color here because the, it's almost like you're trying to focus, like it's, it's a forced, uh, not trying to say it's forced, but it's almost like a force appeal to this, feeling to this. Like maybe we're thinking here, do I have to? Is it the right thing to do? Should I state it? Am I forced to? Not forced, if that's the word, but very focused here, where maybe there's an interesting energy here that says here, I can be free. Spain may have its purpose, but the interesting thing I pick up is three other countries for you, three other countries coming up, which are going to bless you, bless you with um, what you're doing in front of you. So I think at the moment, your purple here is focusing on by the knowledge we know right now. Einstein was good at that, wasn't he? Because we're very used to the knowledge that we know now. We don't know anything else, but what we have is imagination, and that's endless. So the knowledge you have now is like trying to say, yes, perhaps I'll stay here and I'd like to focus in Spain. However, I also get the other energies here, which are very much focusing around you to say, um, watch what else comes up. Sometimes we need to have focus ahead, but watch where there's a, a door behind you, door behind you, or a door, another door that can open. Let's have a look here. So let's have a look here. So will I remain in Spain? Three other countries are going to attract you. Three others. I'm going to go for the, I'm going to go for the right. I'm going to go for the right because it's right. Right, okay. Let's have a look here. So, mm, uh, you're going to be on a move a lot. You'll be on a move, move, move. The thing here that will come up a little bit here will be, um, not necessarily financial matters here, but it, it's it's where it's going to help you two to go. Now, it's interesting here where you two, your partners go, where, where Kevin go, because um, your travel life here is going to be immense. It'll be very, very good. And you've got a very power card here called Temperance. And Temperance here, I love this card because it's very much a Pisces energy in some respects. And that is Pisces are very good. Neptune is very good at playing out the long game and temperance here is about playing out the long game not making too many decisions too quickly so sometimes here the need to be open is is a very big thing mm, very big thing but uh, you'll come to spain but maybe other opportunities open for you which uh, are going to be quite surprising but uh, i wish you wish you well in fact i wish everybody well out there because i just want to say here this is uh, uh, we started off the show with the pre-warning of an hour before with no microphone. That's now working. Uh, we're now working on YouTube and Facebook and shortly, hopefully, going to be on LinkedIn as well. And uh, absolutely fabulous to join you this evening. So I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I've been broadcasting this. And it's lovely to see so many new people on here and people we, we have a big heart for out there. We just want to say uh, hello to Katrina, uh, to Helen, say thank you to Susanna. To Bev Angus, we haven't seen you in a long time here. And uh, yes, we'd love to answer that for you next time because we just need some details from you there. Bev, if you can send in your date of birth, favourite colour and, and that question, that would be great. And uh, who has been here? Puya Lee says, interesting, how interesting. And uh, we we have loads of loads of good stuff here. We have Gail saying, great to see you too, Phil. And uh, also some other friends just popped in a little while ago. Just nice to see them. 
And yes, here we are. Um, Nabila, Nabila. Mm. Sorry, I keep getting the time wrong. If you only knew her job. If you only knew. In the meantime, folks, it's been an absolute pleasure serving you this evening on a lovely Sunday evening from Spain. And I wish you a wonderful week and uh, you take care. And uh, don't forget, big love, big love from us all here. I was going to find out our, uh, our little, there it is, goodbye for everyone. So don't forget, big love, big love, burger. Same thing, same thing, big love, big burger. Okay, you guys take care. And uh, have a lovely, lovely evening wherever you are. Don't forget, put your hands in the soil. It's nice.